Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, hope you're all doing well, thanks for tuning in. We've got a Black Series review, finally! This one has been a long time coming. We have Omega in her mercenary gear, from based on her appearance in Season 2 of The Bad Batch. Uh, yeah, because this one was part of an individual wave, as opposed to part of the, the Bad Batch wave, which I think was a Walmart exclusive in the US, um, definitely a Zing pop culture exclusive here in Australia. Um, whereas Amiga should find a bit more of a wider release. Uh, she's number 18 in the Bad Batch line. I'd, hard to believe there's that many figures in the Bad Batch line, but just looking at my Black Series shelf, um, yeah, I've actually been really looking forward to this figure uh, for a couple of reasons. So I'm going to be doing a comparison with the Season 1 version like I did with the other members of the Bad Batch. So if you missed those reviews, I do the comparison side by side with the... the, the so the Phase 1, Season 1 counterpart. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the same here with Omega in the Black Series. Omega um, does say on the back of the box here, young clone Omega travels in tow with her brothers, the Bad Batch. Armed with her trusty energy bow, she is indispensable on their adventures across a rapidly changing galaxy. There she is on the side, 4.6 inches or 11.7 centimetres. So yeah, we're going to bust this one open, take a look at the figure, and uh, yeah, join me for that. Alright folks, thanks for tuning in. We've got Omega here out of the packaging. I'm, I'm really stoked with this figure. She looks great. Nice version of her for Season 2. I think it looks good. She sort of really came into her own in second season. Um, it's definitely got some more growth in her for the third. But yeah, she sort of came into her own. She's just sort of just discovered a lot of independence and she has a lot of lot of trust in herself uh, in the second season which is really cool uh, she's obviously been learning from her brothers which is which is great um, so what I love about this figure is the accessories she comes with it does come with the uh, the folded up bow that she has that looks nice there is a little peg there which can fit onto the back of her bandolier there which is nice if I can get it to line up so that pegs on there very nicely. I think that looks good. Nice sort of just, you know, if you're just gonna display her, just sort of hanging out. That looks good on the back. But then we also get a new version of the unfurled bow, which looks good too. Nice handle on the side there. I haven't tried posing her with it. But hey, we're here. Let's do it. So I'm just gonna. Okay, that's a little bit tricky. Okay. And then this hand. There we go. You sort of just tweak that pose a little bit. Looks pretty good, I like that. She looks cool. The other thing I like about this figure is, move those two out of the way, is the swap out head. Now I think I'm gonna keep this head on this figure. We'll get into the comparison afterwards, but here is the sort of unhelmeted Omega, which looks good. Nicely sculpted, definitely, definitely looks like her. Sort of a little bit more of a little wry smile there, as opposed to this one. You know, she's showing, showing a bit of a badass attitude. <laughs> so I'm just going to see how easy it is to swap out. Pretty easy. And she, kinda, she looks cool like that. I, I dig that. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards using this head for the Season 1 version, which we'll get a look at just in a moment. Yeah, I like to see her sort of ready for a ready for a fight with the boys. But yeah, the colours, the sort of the red underneath with the red armband looks good with the blue. I like the helmet. Well, I think that looks nice. And she does have a ball joint in the head. As you just saw before, 
ball joint in the neck, so that moves, gets a good range of movement in it. Uh, ball hinges in the elbows, in the shoulders, in the wrists. Left hand doing a sort of in and out, right hand doing the sort of up and down. She does have a joint there behind the belt, so the bottom of the torso there. Belt sort of hiding a little bit of that, a little bit of that articulation. Does have the sort of the barbell in the, the waist there, swivel at the thighs, joint in the knee there with good movement. Upper boot articulation too, which is, you know, a little bit extra. And then a joint at the ankles, which looks a little bit slightly coming undone there. I'm gonna to have to tidy that up afterwards. Looks like there's just a little bit of extra plastic in the mold. Nothing that I have already fixed. <laughs> so I'm just going to be a little bit careful with that joint. It's a little bit, a little bit slender there, but all good. It's not broken. It's fine. So like I said, be bringing in the season one counterpart. Which I, I think has held up pretty well. I just wish that she'd come with an alternate head without the uh, the little headdress, the Camino and headdress on. I'm fine with the hair. I saw some people that have actually, you know, sort of shaved it off and repainted it. But what I'm going to do, move that one out of the way. See if this head will. I'm gonna have to just get the. <laughs> this is gonna take some surgery. I'm gonna have to get the barbell out of there to fit on. But I think that'll look good. A little bit more season. Season one. Maybe a head's a little bit longer in season two. I don't know. Undecided as yet. Maybe I'll just keep her as she is. But yeah, still sticking with the same sort of colour motifs, the sort of the reds, the blues. It's gone from somewhere that's sort of quite, you know, stuck indoors all the time. Not really a lot of knowledge about the world. Uh, the legs, legs are the same. Again, why change them? And the upper torso is all new. Everything else is new, just the legs have been reused, which is fine. Yeah, a very nice addition to the line. If I can get it to stand up, it's hard when you're playing with two figures at the same time. I'm very happy to have Omega take her place with the uh, the boys in the batch. Very nice, very nicely done there Hasbro, I dig it. Put that back on, I think that looks really good. Sort of pegged on there, I think that looks cool. But yeah, there's, there's Omega from season two of The Bad Batch. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Please let me know what you think. Back some more reviews very, very soon. Till then, may the force be with you, always. <laughs>